Servus Männer, it's Red Pill Germany again. Today I want to tell you a little bit about the ongoing discussion or rather the presented narratives in Germany about showers, about how to take a shower. Uh, I want to give you the true red pill on German showers. And no, of course, this is not a lengthy discussion about wooden doors. Um, this has nothing to do with wooden doors, okay? Um, I'm talking, of course, about the prospect or the condition at the moment already that energy prices are going up and probably in autumn and winter they will soar to even higher levels and many people have of course a heating system at home that is fueled by natural gas and also oil prices um, heating oil prices are going up um, as a consequence of course of the scarcity of natural gas so that is why a lot of politicians and a lot of people in the media and i have mentioned that before but i haven't really discussed it so far um, not in depth at least uh, they are giving all these hints so they're saying oh if you want to save costs you should do this and that and if you want to save the environment you should do this and that if you want to support ukraine uh, and hurt russia then you should do this and that and the things that they're suggesting are really yeah i would say funny um, if you want to have a different perspective on that you can say it's 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 absolutely tasteless and it's horrible um, they're saying things like just just don't take hot showers anymore or don't shower at all shower once a week at most and uh, then cold yeah no hot showers yeah? so for the last two years they told us to wash our hands every five minutes and to use hot water and a lot of soap and 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 rub it in for i don't know 30 seconds one minute and whatever right um and now they're saying stop stop no showers no hot water um yeah but what they're forgetting and what um in my opinion at least is not well i I haven't read every article, of course, but I haven't noticed that this point has been discussed uh, or came up ever when when people were giving these um, hints or this this uh, unsolicited advice yeah, um, about how to uh, cut some costs and, and save the environment. Uh, and that is, of course, that you won't be clean. Yeah? <laughs> What people are forgetting, uh, cold showers don't really have any uh, yeah they don't have a large cleaning effect uh, because you can think of that as a chemical reaction and water is the solvent and the soap is the uh, molecule that makes the emulsion it has a hydrophilic and a hydrophobic end so one end can can bind with with uh, fatty things and the other with the water with the solvent and this is basically how you how you dissolve these these uh, oily um, yeah, the parts that are on, on your skin and also dead skin cells and all that stuff. Anyway, uh, a simple example. And, you know, I'm Captain Obvious here. I get that. But I know from experience that a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people really don't know that. So uh, if you have ever washed dishes by yourself and not use the dishwasher you might know that if you use hot water uh, the dirt comes right off in most cases and it doesn't require a lot of scrubbing but if you use cold water then you need a lot of soap and it, it really it, it's almost like there is no effect yeah? because the water particles of course uh, have more energy there are more collisions per unit time at a higher impact and uh, this is a microscopic image that you can use if you want to but it, it just just people should know that cold water does not clean them so and if you take a cold shower once a week that means your dead skin cells just accumulate on on your body and and you will have some kind of bacteria and fungus problems and and uh, you will stink okay just just to to cut this short and to just you know end this this um, discussion right now if you do what they tell you you will stink they want germans to stink okay <laughs> and this is coming from people who you know have uh, drivers and 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 fancy cars and um, 
big, several big houses and, you know, uh, Olaf Scholz, our chancellor, he was asked what a liter of gasoline costs and, and, and he said, oh, I don't know, I haven't, I haven't put gas in the tank myself for 10 years, I have no idea, at least, uh, okay, I can't quote him on that, but that's effectively what he said. He said, my driver takes care of that. I have no idea what gasoline costs. <laughs> Gee. Yeah, uh, those are the people who tell the plebs to just stop washing themselves because, you know, hygiene is overrated. You don't need that to show up for work and to work for the taxes that um, ultimately pay for all these politicians, you know, and all these people in the media, of course, because the media is state media, is public broadcasting in Germany, and all these groups are giving this kind of advice right now, yeah. Uh, but, you know, when I searched for this uh, topic online, I found an interesting article. I found a very interesting article because they always mix these things, right? like uh, saving water and saving energy and, and no pollution. That, that's kind of the same thing for a lot of these people. So they somehow bring, because it's summer now, they bring up saving water. Because, I mean, there is no water shortage in Germany. It's ridiculous. Germans don't need to save water. It's absolutely ridiculous. I said that a couple of times, I think. But um, they bring it up. And... Uh, The interesting article I found is that, um, you know, they openly say for several years already that you should just empty your bladder in the shower. I'm not kidding. They're, su they're actually suggesting that to people because then you don't need to flush the toilet and then you save a lot of water. But, but only men should do that. Women should not do that because of their different anatomy and they're not made for emptying their bladder while they're standing. Well... <laughs> What came to my mind was, why don't they just squat and do... Well, okay, yeah. So, so only men should do that. Women can just... Women are allowed to go to the toilet and flush. You know, that's fine. You know, we can still win against Putin. But, but men, men should definitely, you know, empty their bladder in the cold shower once a week. The problem is, you know, when you only take a shower once a week, the, the saving potential that the whole emptying your bladder routine in the shower has, uh, you know, it, it's kind of, you know, diminished by that, you know, if you, if you just take a shower once a week. So that's something they, they need to factor in their, their grand model. Of, of how we can manage um, the plebs um, for optimized and efficient uh, use. I don't know. So I really <laughs> have, to, have to tell you that everything I told you about today is not satire, okay? Th th this is literally what top politicians are discussing right now. One example, one example. The um, governor... Yeah, the minister president of our southwesternmost state, Baden-Württemberg. He suggested that you don't take showers at all anymore and you use a waschlappen. That is, well, a washing cloth or something. Yeah, And, and uh, maybe in your country that doesn't exist or it's not usual to, you, to use that. It's not customary. Let me explain you what that is. Explain to you what that is. It's, it's, it's like an envelope or something like that that's open on the short side. It's a rectangular um, bag that's open on the short side and it's it's like a glove without fingers and you put it over your hand it's a little cloth bag you have over your hand and if you if you soak it in water yeah then you can wash your body very efficiently with very little water being used and most germans have that um you know for emergencies but no one that i know at least uses this as a yeah as a, a substitute for bath or showers. Yeah? So that's what he said. So uh, don't take a shower, use the waschlappen. Uh, it's funny that waschlappen is also a, a colloquial term for a weakling, a weak man is a waschlappen. Yeah? Maybe because it, it doesn't maintain or it, it cannot maintain its form. It, it kind of falls, I don't know. I don't know why, because it's soft, I don't know. Waschlappen, yeah? it's basically a weak man. And it's also funny that there, in, I think it was in the 90s, I should tell you that a person who takes a warm shower, a warm dusche, that's also a term to describe a weak man. And 
In the 90s, there was an early internet phenomenon. It, it's like um, it was a more or less a game or something. Like you should find synonyms, funny synonyms for Waschlappen, uh, words that describe a weak man. And they came up with things like a person who parks his car in the shade or stuff like that, right? Or uh, people who sit down when they pee and, and all these things. Those were all synonyms for Waschlappen. And there are lists online from the early days of the internet, I think, in the 90s, um, where you can still tell by the layout and, and by the graphics that this is an old website where they have like these, these um, compiled lists of, of all these synonyms. So now uh, German men should use the Waschlappen but not take warm showers. So maybe it cancels out, I don't know. Um, but the true red pill about cold showers is that you know it doesn't really clean you okay you will if you do this i mean you you can use a hard brush and 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 rub yourself until <laughs> and uh, apply the brush to your body until your skin is red uh, yeah you can do that but you can also just soak in a nice hot tub um yeah uh, but most people won't do neither of these things and they will just start stinking so i'm preparing for a smelly winter yeah, and you can probably I don't know now I'm just now I'm just guessing okay now now I'm just going to to crazy territory maybe maybe it will be uh, the new thing to be socially accepted or to socially acceptable behavior or something to smell yeah if you don't smell if you don't have bo body odor if you don't have that uh, that's a sign that you are wasting energy and that you're on Putin's side okay so maybe there are checks now at the workplace, you know, when you want to enter the workplace in the morning, there is a sniffing test. And if you, if, if you don't have a noticeable BO, then you're, you know, you're maybe um, picked up by the secret police or something because you're, you're, you're definitely taking hot showers in secret. You know, where did he get the warm water from? You know, traitor, he's helping Russia. Yeah, I mean, I'm joking. Now, in summer, let's see if this remains a joke. Uh, if we see us again in winter, I will, I will tell you if this is still funny or if, it's, or if that is actually what they do. Shaming people for having no body odor. Shaming, I mean, I mean, flight shame, that is something they wanted to um, introduce, that uh, people should feel flight shame. So being ashamed of taking a plane to other countries for business or vacation. And now we probably arrived at um, absence of body odor shame or hot water shame or something like that. Anyway, take care. Servus, Kameraden.